Welcome to I Love Stocks, and I'm going to go over my EV car watch list that I'll be going over for a period of time until I feel like we're not bullish on them anymore. But um, that's what I'm looking at right now. Please subscribe, hit that like button, and ring that bell for future updates on our YouTube channel. And we're going to go ahead and start talking about our little watch list that have been accumulating for a while now, the top five that were in the green volume high leaders were Nile, IDEX, Tesla, XPEV, and Plug. Nikola, we're waiting on the General Motors news. We got that Centron Solo here that brought it down. Now I think we're ready for a reversal. Start scalping it again. We got Blink on here, Workhorse, and Plug. Yeah, so we're going to look at a few of them right now. Let's go ahead and pull up the chart. We'll go ahead and pull up and see which one we're going to use. We're going to use the EMAs. I'm going to put it up to the 20 day. I'll kind of just take a look at some of these. First one we're going to look at is Nile. It's the first one on top of the list in volume liters. So we'll look at Nile here. We did kind of have a resistance level here at 5388. I think support's going to be right down in this lower area, right under. 50 right around 49.27 in this channel in here somewhere between 49.27 and that 48 48.13 area should hold if not we'll pull back to this other lower support level but i'm watching nile any kind of pullback are are good for or for bounces let's see what else we got on the watch list here we got tesla tesla had a good good not good last week it's had a good couple weeks. It's really rebounded. We almost hit 600. We hit 598.78. I'm going to draw a little trend line right there. A little line of support right in here, I think. And another one right down here for sure. Right where we had this previous high. 576. Then we got that other one right down here. Now, I'm going to probably raise this bar up a little bit to 576 area. Yeah, we'll just kind of put it right there for support level. I've got that on there. Let's go ahead and look at the daily, see if I missed anything on here. It's a little pivot point area right in here that we had on the pullback. We did pull back to that previous high. That found support right there. So here we go, and we've got one more right down here. Let me pull this one right in here. You see where we pulled down right here? At opening that could be a pretty solid support so I'm gonna raise this up just a little bit get it up into this area right in here I think perfect right about there at 577.52 if it does pull back for the bulb double bottom at the 578.63 area it could be a buy let's go ahead and raise that up just a little bit higher I want to be ready for this trade if it does pull back Hit, hit this 579 alert. I mean, that's not much of a pullback. It could pull back to this 572. It's pretty solid support right there, too. We'll just see how it plays out come Monday. Low support, 572.37 for a strong buy. And then you got the three support levels, 582.68, 578.63, and 576.07. That's Tesla. Keeping a good eye on here's XPEV. We did have a nice little pullback on it. Kind of consolidated in the channel. Kind of found a pivot point area. I'm thinking right about in here. We had this pullback. Kind of consolidated up in there. So that's the resistance we got to break. Then we got to bring it back up to about up in here, this area that lower support being right down in here this is xpev let's look at the 20 days see if i missed anything yeah this little place right in here i want to get this that's got a hold oh didn't get it in there i'll go ahead and make this a red line because that's where i want it to hold We'll make it a three. I want to make it very, very noticeable when I go to look at it. 
Yeah. See, we pulled back there a couple times. This will be the third time. We've had some kind of descending pattern with that breakout on Monday or on uh, Friday. And she did pull back like everything else did. So that lower support is going to be right here at, is it 61.36? That's what's got a hold. We'll go ahead and see if we can pull this up on the daily. Yeah, 61.36. Then you got, see if we can find an equilibrium down here. There it is right there. Three support levels. 62.89, 62.28, and that's 61.77. With strong buy at 61.36. XPEV, 64.28, it closed at. What's next on the watch list? Let's look at plug. Look at the 20 day on plug. This is one that we really like. It did pull back to my support level here that I talked about. It's right around that 2540 area. I think we could double bottom there again. Let's go ahead and pull this up on a daily one minute. Right down here at 2544, but let's go ahead and call it support level right here. Here's your three supports. 2607, 2584, and then 2571 with a strong buy at 2544. That's plug. <coughs> I think resistance to break is going to be this 2682 area. And if we can get it on up here, that next one's going to be right around 27, and then your third one. Just go ahead and bring it up to the top here, 2734. That's what you got to break on plug to a high of 28. And actually, we had some resistance right up in here, right around the 2765. So I'll be watching that too for a double top break here at 2765 on plug. Low support, 2544. Let's see if we can find another one on here. Solo. NKLA, I'm, I'm, I think we need to watch. We are going to have a little retracement bounce, but it's not going to be nothing much. General Motors news and solo. I had this 818 area for a support. As you can see, it's bounced a few times off that. Let's just go to the 10 day right in here. And we did kind of go down lower a couple times at 766. So that could be a strong buy right there. We'll put that into a little red line right here. That's going to be new lower support. I'm going to lower the bar a little bit. I did have it at 818. So I think, you know, we can go ahead and have a triple bottom down here, maybe at 766, and run it back up, back up and scalp it for a buck, maybe 872 up to 920, which was hard to break last week at 920 area. And that's on solo. Let's see what else we got on here. We got blink. Let's look at blink. Don't blink. Let's go ahead and clear this up. We'll start fresh. See if we can find anything different in here. We got that lower support area right down in here. I kind of want to make it 2416 to this area. And that first one area. And then you got that. I'm going to go ahead and bring it right there. I mean, I'm just how I'm doing my extended trend lines. And we got a long there at 29, right around 30 bucks. So Blink can pull back to this lower support channel where that 200 is here on the 10 day, about 23.45 to 24.16 area. It's going to be your strong buy area. And then resistance to break is going to be this 29.98. First, we got a bus pass 28.13. Then you'll have a little resistance right up in here little pivot point area right around the 2873 and then try to get it up to the triple top to the double top up here right around 30 bucks to bring it into new highs I'm definitely momentum have momentum on the blink and plug right now let's see if we can find anything else on here workhorse go ahead and clear this one up too it's the 20 day a little support level right down in this area and see that's in between the gap in here 
So I'm going to raise that up just a little bit to right about there. 2632, I'd like to see that hold with a strong buy down this $26 area. And you got your first supports going to be right here and resistance to break. And then you got that gap right in here at 2765 to a long resistance 28 and then finally 2838 and then 2878. Let's look this on the 20 days, see if I missed anything here. Yeah, because that's a huge drop right there down to 24. So let's go ahead and look at the minute. Pretty good. Back to the 10 day. Strong buy when it dips down to here. Why I say that, I'll show you here. This is where we had that, that bottom right here. We did touch down right there. And both times, the wicks touched that 200 on this 30-minute. So I kind of like that. I said it kind of breaks down below the pivot point area. I mean, it can dip down to this lower support of 2577 workhorse. But I want to see it hold this 200 on the 10-day, half hour. And that support level right there is at $26. We are descending a little bit with lower highs, so that is a little concerning. If we don't hold here, we can drop down here for a strong buy right around the $24 area. $24.28 would be a very strong buy if it doesn't hold this. Right now the pattern's kind of bearish, but we don't know until we come in here Monday and see how they are. But that was workhorse. And let me see what else I got on this list. WWR. We're going to be watching WWR this week. I think resistance to break is going to be right around this 596 area. And support to get in the trade is going to be right around the 566. I'd like to see that hold. Then we do have a lower support right down here. Right here where we had this little pattern. A few times it tried to break and it couldn't. So yeah, strong buy right down in this area, right around 537. Let's go ahead and find another resistance right there. Bam. Now I got a few resistance levels. Yeah, that's about it. Kind of hard to say. I think probably we're up in here. Let's go back to that 20 day, one hour. So, yeah, it needs to hold this support level right in here. If not, it'll fail and pull on back. And there's another little support level right there at 558. And then there's a few of them. It's kind of a choppy chart. WWR. So, if it pulls back to any of these lower support levels, right around 539. Between that and 550, I'd consider that a pretty strong buy. I'm looking for a swing out of this trade if it does pull back to this lower support level right in here. If I can get in there, I'll run it back up to six bucks. So that'd be a good 50 cent scalp or even higher if it decides to break that six dollar area. That's WWR. Let's see if we can find anything else on here. Let's go to the percentage losers. We had percentage gainers was NIU. So I don't see anything on here. Let's see what we got at percentage losers. Oh, come on. Solo was definitely workhorse and FUV. We'll check that and look at ride. FEV can pull down a little bit more. Thinking right down in this area down here, right around 12 bucks. So I'll be watching FEV down there. And ride is another good one. Nice little run. Kind of had a higher low here. It's kind of squeezing out. I think it can pull back too. I got a 2320 low support for this trade right here. And that's ride. And I think that should do it for the EV watch list. 
Just remember, five, ten years from now, we're going to be plugging all of our cars in. Please hit that I Love Stocks YouTube channel and ring that bell for future updates. I Love Stocks. Thank <laughs> you.